हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सोहन वेयर्स फ्रॉम कोचिन स्पीकिंग ऑफ मी आई वाज बोर्न इन अ रिमोट विलेज इन एलोपी इन 1969 मई 25th माय मदर वाज हैविंग अ विवी पेरिस हेस्ट आई वाज बोर्न आउट लेफ्ट आई साइड बिकॉज़ शी वाज सिक and she was taken to the hospital the newborn baby was left out the remaining alone and the only lady from the neighborhood black in color came and took me away to her home on a positive note from the hospital i came back officially to my home it was a lesson of dispassion which i learned in my childhood infancy we can call it the place i was born was a remote coastal village of alappi there was vast stretch of sandy beaches we lived what a canals in my tender days i used to lie down on the sandy beaches looking at the rippling palm leaves and hanging bowls mangoes to wide sky with patched clouds was one of my fascination i was the eighth son of a british soldier who named me sohan vyas soham is a mantra means i am you my childhood was so splendid with connection because there were more than eight people who to command me i was so that much silent happy to watch other big children playing in the outskirts one day i played kabaddi with one of my big children of the suburb i was terribly beaten and cried back home my mama gave me a bomb keys and taught me how to climb on the shoulders of giant to do what we want moving to the schools was amazing because there is 3 kilometers away from my home we used to walk down to the school with big senior students i always keeping running because i am so small among them high school was a brilliant change happening within me because we travel the nearby towns by bicycle college days i was the leader for some though i am a little child i speak up i make sound would get noticed before others that was one of my traits from childhood so always i was be the referee i am not the player i am not the champion but i will monitor how well they play they call somebody call me referee like that captain like that they call me nothing could induce me except those two bright eyes of a brown girl she was the only daughter of my uncle and we fell in love i don't know how we got married in letter and because my ardent love to was english i want to study english literature and language from maharaja's college then i club there one teacher dr bharadan who was the principal of that college the man in a starch dhoti and barefoot attracted me so well with a pack of panama cigarette i learned many lessons of literary criticism one day he told me that the literature will never feed you then i joined a company called olympic as a medical representative i studied there i did my job there and got married at that time and i got a son after a couple of years then i shifted my job to a company called sheshasai paper and boots they are paper manufacturing in tamil nadu i joined as the officer 
in their marketing division in Cochin. That time, I decided to have my second child. After a long gap of five years from my first child, the salary was so low to bear another child. That was the delay in having the second child. My wife was carrying. In December sixth, you know, December sixth in Kerala. That time it was Hartal. This is in two thousand four. My wife is carrying, and that particular morning she was sick. I took her to the nearby hospital in Alway. Doctor came and said that they will have some scan testing and will inform you. Evening, she came and told that her condition is very bad. The fetus is reacting towards the mother body. She named the disease as FTTP, something placenta reaction is happening within his body. Something has to be done. Immediately, I told her that. Take the fetus out. I want my lady back. I screamed. They said nothing can be done in this hospital. Take her to a higher hospital like EMC, the now the medical center. Then that in an ambulance we were traveling in that hospital day. I can see she was singing, looking at my eyes. I tried vainlessly tried many jogs to make her cheer up, but I could see tears rolled down from her cheeks. We reached the hospital. The people were waiting for us because the hospital has informed that the patient is coming. She was taken to the intensive care ICU, and Doctor Lisama came out and said. Her oxygen is forty percent. Breath, oxygen level is forty percent. Breathing almost stopped. Heart is pumping very low. Both kidneys are not working properly, and immediate surgery has to be done. The protein level of the body has gone down. At any point of time, her belly will be teared off. I screamed. Do something, save my lady. She has given me a prescription to buy a medicine called albumin. It was half a day. I crisscrossed the entire city, didn't get. At last, I found the medicine near to a Nangla medical center. I went there. The shopkeeper told me that the medicine is available, but the cost is four thousand rupees. My dear friends, that time I have only two thousand rupees with me. I explained him, sir, my wife is in a critical condition. This medicine required to have the surgery. Please help me. But my words are on the deaf ears. He said, "I am not the owner. I am unable to dispense the medicine." To my surprise, I saw a leaping hand. towards the shopkeeper holding a mobile phone keep this mobile and give the medicine i as hearing this i snatched the medicine and flew back to hospital i never looked at the source of the sound i saw a hand which is leaping forward with that mobile I gave the medicine and surgery was done, and the newborn infant was taken to neonatology department in an incubator. She was hardly six hundred grams. Doctor came and said, "This is the complexity." I was not listening any words of the doctor. I asked whether my lady is stable or not. Okay, that night at one o'clock, 
my name is announced in the mic speaker i went there they said the baby is gone they gave me a velvet body with silky hair almost my palm size i didn't feel anything i stood stumbled keeping this silky hair i feel the silky hair and we drove back to the nearby cemetery in edapulli there we could not find the cemetery keeper we found somehow him and he came and dig a small ditch and i put that silky hairs into that burrow and put some soil and two flowers on it i came back to my cab and i slept like a log this is a terrible instant which i felt in within me next day morning i went to that medical shop to give back the money the shopkeeper told me that the gentleman came and gave the money to kiss mobile back friends there are reality may happen to us but indeed there is many super reality above us rather than our liking or the rather than our whims and fancies this world is so dear to us but somebody like that world more dearer than us this is the lesson i learned that time then she came back in the hospital when home and we are the nurturing the family in a good way i resigned from that company and joined andhra paper limited as the deputy manager sales and marketing and heading kerala Meanwhile I joined a club called Toastmaster International there I always tried to express my idea within me flooding idea within me through my poems the hard lessons which I learned from my childhood People call me I am a faceless man I will openly tell anything to anybody whether they like or not my dear friends i will tell you that i see people are in different kinds different dimensions we are a dimension and that fellow is a dimension just like the vegetables in our sambar see the lady's finger vendakai having the taste that is identical from the potato which is in it the kernel in it the other ingredients in the sambars is identical in their nature but together it makes a delicious sambar do you can you feel the taste of the sambar from the potato itself no it's a mixture so we are just like our own identity we have which may mismatch with some but we can be together keeping our identity is really good but it should never harm the others identity see we all have kapda that means clothing how this clothing are made a warp and weft fibers are there which cross in between and together make it good so any warp or weft is having some issue that cloth will be rejected likewise we may different different kinds that together we are one from a single source no taste difference but we looks different speak different behave different but we are the same 
ദേശ കാല വാസ്തു പരിച്ഛേദ ശൂന്യം ബ്രഹ്മം വി ആർ ദ സെയിം ദോ യു ആർ സിറ്റിംഗ് എവേ നോട്ട് ക്ലോസർ ടു മീ യു ആർ വിത്ത് മീ നോ ഡിഫറൻസ് അറ്റ് ഓൾ ദിസ് ഈസ് മൈ തിങ്കിങ് ആൻഡ് മൈ ബിലീഫ് ദിസ് ഈസ് മൈ വാല്യൂ സിസ്റ്റം വിച്ച് ഐ ലൈക്ക് ദ ഇന്റർണൽ വേൾഡ് ഷാൽ ബി കയോട്ടിക് ബട്ട് നവർ സി ദ എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ വേൾഡ് ഈസ് കയോട്ടിക് ദ കയോട്ടിക് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഹാപ്പൻസ് വിത്ത് എ നാസ് ഡ്യൂ ടു അവർ ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ നോട്ട് ഫ്രം ദ എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ ദ തിങ്സ് വിച്ച് യു സി making friction towards you is not like that it is your assumption your reading your scanning which is happening towards that substance never you can find it solution see when a doctor gives medicine they are not at all sure that the disease will be cured hardly cures hippocratic oath says that that medicine cure rarely comfort always console always that was hippocratic oath which the doctors are saying it is a mir- medicine means miranda miracle a tablet is given that works in the system and system adapt to the situation changes the system so believe that you have immense potency we are one that is in us is divine today we are living albert einstein and many great people are gone from this world but they were here here the plane another thing uh, let me tell you that we are living in a galaxy right we don't know how many galaxies are there but we are truly living in the galaxy within your head <laughs> not in the galaxy which you are heard read and seen there are many galaxies and the galaxy which sun earth and is is a shortest one somebody said like that there are big bigger and bigger bigger galaxies are there but my dear friends you are living in a single galaxy that is within your head this is not this is soham vyas with you though i am away from you though you don't know me i know you because of the spirit within you and me is the same right